to my channel. I am Heather Teedman. I am a realtor down here in the beautiful Lexington, Columbia, South Carolina. And we are currently experiencing Tropical Storm Debbie, which actually hasn't been too bad here in the Lexington, Columbia area. Um, pretty light rain currently. It was kind of heavy on Tuesday, but today, eh, it's just raining. <laughs> Nothing too crazy. So, but... We are going to be talking about five odd facts about South Carolina today, which is probably why you clicked on this video. Um, before we get started with that, though, <laughs> I am going to ask that you please like and subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate it. It means so much to me, and it really helps with the YouTube algorithm. And if you have any odd facts about South Carolina, I would love to hear them. Please post them, post them down in the comments below. I always... I'm a researcher by heart, um, so I love odd facts, facts that I've never heard of. So if you have any of those, please share them. I have mine written down here so I wouldn't forget. Um, but let's go ahead and get started with that. So my first odd fact of the day is that the South Carolina state amphibian is actually the spotted salamander, which I did not know until very recently. Um, and it's a, the spotted salamander, which I thought was a little weird because I don't really see those a whole lot, but um, they're here. I just don't see them a whole lot. Um, but it is the state amphibian because in 1997, third graders in Spartanburg, with the support of their teacher, um, campaigned to have the spotted salamander get some recognition as the state amphibian. Um, so they can campaign successfully and in March of 1999 the state governor Beasley at the time Signed that bill into law. So that is how we got the state salamander never underestimate the power of third graders I have a third grader and their willpower is pretty strong <laughs> um, Moving on into fact number two did you know that South Carolina is actually home to what we refer to as Monkey Island, which is actually Morgan Island. Um, it is an island off the coast of Beaufort and it is home to almost 4,000 monkeys. Now these were put here years ago for as research monkeys and they're still used today. Humans are not allowed on the island itself unless you are there for scientific purposes. However, you can take boat tours around the islands and you can see them swinging around, eating, just doing what monkeys do. But do not go on that island. <laughs> You'll get yourself in a lot of trouble. But I just, I, I always find that to be an interesting fact and a lot of people never heard of it. Even people that have lived here their entire lives, only maybe 10 years ago that did I hear about it. Number three, so brought it back in to the Lexington area. Did you know that Lake Murray is actually built over a town's communities um, and that some of those remnants still remain under the lake surface? Um, so when they moved, there's still a bridge under there. We have a lot of divers that go down there a lot and try to like explore the uh, remnants of these past settlements. And they found a bridge, they found stone houses. I believe they found a church. Um, they did move uh, graveyards, but not everybody moved their loved ones. So there actually is a graveyard underneath the lake. So <laughs> not the funnest. <laughs> fact but a fact nonetheless um so moving into number four of my odd facts this is i'm going through these very quickly i did not realize how quickly i would go through these but it'll make for a short video and it shouldn't take you guys too long to watch it uh did you know in 1969 it actually rained a powdered non-dairy creamer in the town of chester uh so there, there is a um, creamer plant, manufacturing plant in the town of Chester at that time. And sometimes they would have um, vent exhaust issues, which would let out puffs of non-dairy creamer. 
and if it was raining it would create this sticky soupy goopy mess and as you can imagine the people that lived in Chester South Carolina were not very happy thankfully they did ultimately end up fixing that issue but they were fined um, four thousand dollars at that time which I'm sure in today's money is a lot more um, compared to 1969 and on to my last fact fact number five did you know that the palmetto tree the state tree the tree in which South Carolina is known for it's on our license plates it's everywhere if you see South Carolina you've seen the palmetto tree palmetto tree is actually not a tree at all it does not have a solid wood trunk the palmetto tree is actually a cabbage palm um, and it became our state tree because dating back to the Revolutionary War the British assault on Charleston and on June 28 19, 1776 um, they were actually denied entry by the thick palmetto walls of Fort Moultrie which was Sullivan at the time and the cannonballs literally bounced off of the palmetto trees and really saved a lot of lives that day so that was the beginning of the legend that ended up being the palmetto tree south carolina's state tree so these are my five odd facts like i said in the beginning if you have any odd facts that you would love to share um i would love to hear them also if you are considering a move to the lexington columbia south carolina area we do have a facebook group called moving to lexington south carolina you can find a link to to it as well as my contact information down in the description box and we are always happy to welcome you in and answer any questions that you have and if you are considering a move here and you would like to talk to me personally feel free to reach out i am always happy to help in any way and until next time bye